We'll see what happens going forward. But at this particular point, you're making a mockery of the NCAA. You're making a mockery of, of your LeVar, I mean, your, your whole family. And now people are going to start looking at you negatively. And, and it shouldn't be that way because from what I heard, he's a great father. He, he takes care of kids in the community. He does well with his kids. But you're just in the front of the camera entirely too much. And at this particular point, you're making it bad for other fathers going forward of how they should handle their kids. Because really, to be honest with you, I know how not to handle my kids. And that's mainly because I've been watching this whole drama go for the last couple months. Um, LeVar Ball is looking exactly as he always looks, you know, which is he doesn't care what you think. And that's his appeal. That's what it's the same appeal for like a hot take show, right? Like what what in this business sells in terms of personality that you have an opinion. That's what a hot take is. You have an opinion. It may or may not be popular. That doesn't bother you. As Stephen A. Smith would say, everyone can go kick rocks. This is what you think. And LeVar Ball is living his life that way. Now, you can say, well, he's imposing that life on his children. OK, you may object to that. Maybe, as I said yesterday, there'll be a 30 for 30 years from now about how LeVar Ball is this domineering father and his kids couldn't find their own identity. I, I wouldn't doubt something like that could happen or maybe not. Maybe things work out like the way they've worked out in certain respects for like the Kardashians, for example. The oh, point boy. is LeVar Ball does not care what you think. He's doing things his way. That is the essence of the intrigue, of the interest in him the media interest, because there is there is general interest in him for precisely that reason. Yes, now, he not does. if it was my child, Will, yeah, if it was my yes. child, I yes. like him staying at UCLA because yes. it's an institution of higher learning that I like right. very much. I think it's very good. And I think apart from basketball, there is value in going to UCLA. But I am not raising LeVar Ball's kids. He's raising his kids. And in fact, if your argument is, well, they're over 18 now, fine, then that's also their decision. And if they want to make basketball the thing they focus on or the ball, big baller brand the thing they focus on, or, or even if LeVar Ball thinks, look, this kid's never going to play in the NBA. This is as good as it's going to get for him, so why keep him around in a program that's not going to play him right now? At least let him get a shine right now, or get whatever he's going to get out of the basketball experience right now. There are reasons that, all, whether or not you agree with them, to do exactly what LeVar Ball's doing, but the bigger point is, he doesn't care what you think about his reasons. He's living his life, he's doing it consistently, and he doesn't care what you think. Okay, yeah, yes, he does, Max. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, he may not care what you think but he cares that you think about him as long as you're thinking about him he's happy he may not care if you like him or dislike him he may not care what you say about him as long as you're saying something about him so you want to know how lavar ball looks through all this that's the question at the bottom of our screen the way that he looks through all of it is exploitative he is exploiting us and he is also exploiting his children he is exploitative and i think your comparison for some doing hot takes is actually right on. See, the thing about hot takes is no one knows what that means. They use it as a sweeping gesture at everything they don't like. Ah, I disagree with that. I don't like that. That guy's too confident. That guy's too smug. That guy's wrong. And they sweep it at all of it. But here's the truth. What you need to do if you want to be consistent and authentic is mean what you say and attempt in your best efforts to always be right. Be open that you could be wrong, but try to be right. And LeVar Ball are, is these things. Number one, he's not right. He's delusional. LiAngelo, by nobody's estimation, is a pro basketball player. Maybe, I guess he can prove them all wrong, but pulling them out of school early is not going to help him with that. So number one, he's delusional. He's petulant. Here's another word for you. He pulls kids off of AAU courts when he doesn't like ref calls. He pulls his son out of school when he doesn't like the, 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 uh, the suspension or the punishment for stealing stuff in China. He said, he said what did he say, UCLA is more strict than China? Yeah, that's because you got a special get out of free card in China. So he's delusional, petulant, and Machiavellian. He's playing us all for exploitation, for the big baller brand, for his name. He's using us. He's using his kids. And that, my friend, is not someone who doesn't care what we think. That's he the cares very of much the hot just as long as we are thinking about him. Yeah, but, but LeVar let's, let's, Ball let's, is the embodiment. He's the personification of the hot take according to the criteria you just laid out, no, Will. He is the no, very, he, he's the I, very I, essence of it. He's I, the, I, the he, hot take he, stuff. It's Max, just you called people him, say you, stuff that they don't like. You called yeah. him delusional. Delusional is what, that's the essence of it. I'm going to say something. This is what I believe. And people coming to the program will think, well, that's delusional. That's why yeah, but, it's hot. But right? That's why. That, but, what you're saying Max, about him is why people are interested in him. He's a yeah, walking but, hot take. Yeah, but Max, we, we, we want to look at everything that he says and it becomes a hot take because it's, it's so really, it's crazy. It's off the wall of the things that he talks about at this particular point. He's better First than Jordan. All, 
Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, really, when you really dissect everything that he says, he just wants a reaction. And, and I understand exactly what Will Cain is talking about because every time he says something, he waits for other people to respond to it. And the problem with a lot of these shows and networks is we respond to it. So when we respond to it, he continues on to say more and more wild, outlandish things. The thing that I look at more of is just him being a father. And, and I love what he's doing to protect his, son, protect his kids, take the attention off of his kids and bring it on themselves. But at some point, it begins to catch up to you, just like right now. You did it to take away from, from your Lonzo so that you, all, the, all the drama and everything else will be now pointed towards you. And Lonzo really can just focus on becoming a pro. But you're looking at it now and it became a problem because Lonzo can't really focus on how to become a pro because he doesn't know how, what a pro is all about. He's looking at himself and he's struggling right now. And he becomes the talk of conversation. Now you have your other son who goes to China and he ends up getting caught stealing. You put him on national TV after you take him out. And he starts to talk about other players started stealing, so he decided to do it. Now he decides to be a snitch. And so now it's not looking, it's not only are you looking bad, your son is looking bad. So what school is he going to go to and join a basketball team when they just reminded of seeing you on, on national TV talking about the only reason I did it was because my teammates did it. So now you're going to sit there and rat on them. So what do you think the new team is going to think about? And you talk about him joining an NBA team? That's not going to work either. He may have to go overseas and see how long he lasts from that. So why not put him in school to get an education? At this particular point, to write his own ticket, be there to support him. I agree him in that with that analysis. And so I agree the, with that the, the analysis, me, and that's the reason people are interested in LeVar Ball, Donovan, because it does seem outrageous, Will, because he does seem delusional, and in that way, he is exploiting the media, not unlike uh, someone like Madonna could exploit the media by being more and more outrageous. What is she, was that not true to herself? Yeah. No, it was. Or Muhammad Ali even could be true to himself, and the media may oftentimes find it outrageous or be it a, a, a cartoonish version of themselves. But Max, you are bringing up faces that are doing themselves. It's that, true. Most people are only themselves privately, but that is the interest in him. And if you're saying he's exploiting us, we don't have to talk on, about Max, him. Hold on, Max. saying talk about LeVar Ball, but we're doing it, aren't we? If he's, if he's true to himself, Max, then what he's being true about is that he's an attention whore that all he wants is attention okay. that's the only consistency max you constantly laud that he's consistent well that's not the same thing as being principled being right. consistent with your principles and always trying to be right is one thing if people yell hot take it that so be it go kick rocks but if you are consistently just an attention whore who wants somebody to pay attention to you that's not something you should applaud because in the end he's not just exploiting us donovan you brought up lonzo that's kind of key in this whole thing right because yeah. you're not just exploiting media you're exploiting your children so let me ask you guys this last question going out What's more likely in the future, that about 10, 15 years from now, the big baller brand rivals Nike and Under Armour, or that the whole ball family is living off of Lonzo? How about that for exploitation? Who's but, getting exploited here? But of course, here? it's Me always unlikely that, it's always unlikely, no matter what decision you make, that some personal brand will rival Nike. The fact that you even ask that question shows how far he comes. And in terms of his principles, You're just plotting him as a carnival marker, man. He's consistent. He's consistent. His aim, whether or not we think he's on his way to it, is that all three of his children play, or his sons play for the Lakers. That's what he wants to do. Otherwise, he wants to blow up big baller brand, right? That's what he's consistent about. Even if it's about self-interest, he's still consistent about that. And, you, and here you are, and by the way, I find it hilarious that people on TV would talk about anyone being an attention whore. What are we all doing making a living on television? Why do we think we, we wound up here accidentally? I'm keeping the peace. So, uh, some of it is he's better I'm, I'm, getting getting attention I'm not in that category. Media. Don't put me in that category. All right. I'm here to keep it real and tell the truth. I'm not here to get <laughs> told. That's what you're here to make a living. Living. <laughs> 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 wrongness. All right. I just want to mention one thing, though. The biggest takeaway from that conversation for me was what you said, Donovan, that his personality and his antics potentially have hurt Lonzo Ball's career right now, and we know that he's struggling with the Lakers. Will, you're sticking around. Yep. Good stuff. We need you, you to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, most people believe Tom Brady's the GOAT, but does this mean he should always win MVP? Damian Woody back.